so we are in the G wagon this morning on my way to the gym and um, this is going to be I guess a G wagon vlog I'm going to be taking this uh, car in for a service um, just last week I uh, did an oil change because this car definitely does burn a quart of oil in between oil changes um, but I mean go figure that's a German thing um, aside from the oil change and the car needing oil in between oil changes um, which is normal it's not even really leaking anywhere um, one of the things um, that I noticed that was strange was I got a low coolant light I checked and the reservoir had um, maybe from the line of where it's supposed to be maybe this much lower um, so I'm unsure if it was already pretty low and it maybe was the original fill from way back when but I added distilled water and then I did a full flush after um, just because it's winter time um, and it does get pretty cold in this area so the antifreeze uh, component of the coolant is very important in cold weather and I didn't want to really dilute it with distilled water and not replenish um, its capabilities of being um, antifreeze so then you may be wondering why am I taking this G-Wagon in again for service if it just had service done well it's a very common issue um, that I've seen on the message boards and especially with old school kind of suspension and it has to do with death wobble and from a car being this expensive oh what's that <laughs> From a car being this expensive and having death wobble like a Ford truck is strange. So if you look, it shakes just a tad bit right now. You can see it gets a little bit worse and it only happens from 55 to 60. And when you hit uneven pavement, it gets pretty bad to where it shakes the steering wheel like the death wobble in a Ford truck. So right now I'm gonna go to 50. I'm gonna hit this uneven pavement and let's see if it does it. Okay, it's not too bad yet. Still not too bad, but it's about to happen. There we go, you see that? And in order to get out of that death wobble, you either have to go below 50 or go above 60. really really cumbersome um, really annoying the wifey hates it when she drives it makes her feel like she's driving a hoopty and you should not be feeling that in a g-wagon so hopefully we're going to get that fixed and what my guess is and what I've been reading is it's the steering dampener um, and that should do the trick and it happens pretty often I guess to Jeeps um, also um, so Let's try and get this steering kind of tightened up and get rid of that death wobble. So I'll catch you guys after the gym at the shop. So when I hit an even pavement, it shakes. When I go under 60 miles per hour, let's see if it'll do it again. There we go. Really, really shaky. I love that generation of 5 Series all the way out there, if you can see it. Super clean. Dang. Super clean. So I guess this is the old one, and this one feels stiff, and this one is a lot more... Yeah, you can see this one, you can push. You can just push it right in, and this one is stuck. Huh. Ah. Well, I think that's probably why the steering sucks. <laughs> yeah, this one is just... This one is impossible to move. Yeah, it's it doesn't just... move at all. I need it to push. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. This just goes right there, huh? Ah, 
It makes sense why I was making the steering like messed up. So I drove the car, it's driving amazing and you know, I really got a shout out to uh, Master J's Auto Service and Repair. Um, there's their number right there. If you're in the high desert, Southern California area, you want something uh, done to mostly uh, European cars, but honestly, he's just an honest guy. You can take in your car and he'll do whatever you need to be done. So thank you again, Master J. Let's see how she drives. So before when I drive, I got a lot of steering vibration and almost immediately I feel like the steering wheel is finally not super shaky. steering wobble here 50 to 60 and it's ah it feels so good it feels like a new car to be honest ah, I should have done this a lot sooner um, so I guess uh, to summarize this video if you have a G-Wagon and I'm assuming um, G550 G63 and it's a W463 model so uh, 2013 to 2018 and you're experiencing stark shakiness from the steering wheel from 50 to 60 miles per hour and you're hit um, when you're hitting uh, uneven pavement it's definitely 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 your steering dampener but before you buy the part um, which costs around I'd say 360 350 dollars um, to purchase and also for the labor um, so I'd say maybe a, I'd say $150 for the part um, first make sure your tires are even mounted correctly balanced um, and then also check out your rims see if there are any bends if all of that um, checks out then I, the next thing I would replace is your steering down um, no need to check out anything else um, but I mean while you're down there um, take a pull bar and you know see if anything's loose see if anything um, kind of just looks uneven or bent but for the most part I definitely say it has to be your steering dampener um, and once again if uh, you guys need any work done and you're in the high desert area Master J is your man really honest guy you could honestly just take your car to him ask him what's wrong and he'll definitely tell you what's wrong and not add a bunch of crazy stuff to it and you know he's really cool we just sit and talk about cars really really cool guy anyways uh, stay tuned you guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, not many people really like the G-Wagon um, for content but as these things become more and more uh, popular and hopefully soon maybe one day affordable I feel like these sorts of tutorials um, will help because there's not much on this car online at all.